consider the glide transformation that maps L to L double prime. Which rule describes this transformation? All right, so we see that this is our pre-image. The image has been reflected across this axis here uh, because it's still right side up. It's just backwards looking. And so first we translate this somewhere over here and then reflect it to this position. So I'm gonna work backwards. Let's reflect this first to figure out where over here we are translating the pre-image. All right, so here's a, uh, a point. So let's reflect that across the y-axis. One, two, three, four units to the y-axis. So we'll then move one, two, three, four units away. All right, so we'll do that with a couple different points. Reflect it over there. Here's this corner. This is eight uh, units away from the y-axis, so we'll move eight units over here. All right, we have this point that is at eight comma 10, so we'll move to negative eight comma 10, and that will be that point. Here's another point, this is at six comma 10, so we'll go to negative six. All right, now I'm just gonna draw my shape like this. All right, so this pre-image moved over here. This is where it translated to, and then we reflected it across x equals zero. So what we want to figure out is what this translation was. So let's take some points. We'll use this point and this point. This point moved over there. It moved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units to the left. So negative nine. And then it moved three units up. Actually, these are like this. Negative nine, three. So our answer is B.